right, hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what comes in, or, too many shows, man, this is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, today I've got one that came in a Zen Pop box, this is Mensoken, why does it say Mensoken on here? That's what I want to know. Because they call it somewhere, yeah, they call it Kukanai. This is from a restaurant called Mensuken. That's got to be it. And. Or Kurinai. There's Miso Kurinai and Omekurinai. Right? Or onikurinai? I don't know, but whatever. It's Japanese. It's supposed to be spicy. It's based off a restaurant chain. Wow. So, it's kind of a big cup. And, uh... Pretty good sized noodle block. It said that there are two different sizes of noodles in here. Which is pretty cool. So there you go, there's a lot of, a lot of junk going on in there. There's an oil that goes in last. Let's see if I got, yeah. A little bit of powder left. And now this one steeps for five minutes. So. See what happens. There we go. Five minutes. So what's going on? Well, pretty crazy business, honestly. Okay, let me, I don't want to burn myself again. So, I think I already mentioned this. My wife got me an Ancestry DNA kit for Christmas. And I do it, and it says that I'm not Asian. I'm kind of bummed about that. I kind of expected, you know, I like noodles, right? I know it doesn't work that way. I really didn't expect for me to be. But I figured, hey, weirder things have happened in the universe so I figure there's possibly a chance that I can go like yeah you know but I can't go yeah at least not that way but uh came back with all these different things like possible fourth cousins third cousins second cousins a couple first cousins and then possible what was it possible Sibling, nephew, first cousin. Now this guy, I shared like this amount of these things called centimorgans. Centimorgans. Long story short, enough of them that would make me this guy's uncle, basically. Which is like, oh wow, cool. But it's like, I don't have a brother. I have a sister, and uh, yeah, so it's like, huh, well, the guy's dad contacts me, and he seems like a cool dude, and he is like, dude, I'm dead set, I I'm pretty darn sure you you're my brother, I'm like, what? And yeah, I mean, my mom and sister are like, whatever, dude. Nope. I'm like, I don't know. This is kind of interesting. He sent some pictures today, and it's like, you know, <laughs> this guy does totally look like somebody who would be in my family. I mean, yeah. 
And he's got a freaking huge family. This guy's got like nine kids, and each kid has like at least a couple kids. So that's like, wow. I have three kids, and I felt like, yeah, I've got three kids. Like, pfft. dude. Three's enough for me. Three's good. Yeah, wow. And seems like a nice guy. Lives in Israel. But there's all these different <clears throat> parallels, all that DNA stuff, and just like where people in my family were at the time when he was adopted and the family that adopted all this craziness. It's just like, wow. So we'll see. He's going to take one of his tests. His wife is too. And uh, yeah, should be should be interesting to see what the upshot is. He's convinced. He, he's like... Everything I looked at, everything I've read, all the questions I asked, all the answers I've gotten from people, I'm convinced that you are my brother. That's what he's saying. And I'm like, well, I'm hardly a person. I can't say for definitive, I can't definitively say, no, you are not my brother. So, who am I to <laughs> argue? That's cool, you know, hey. I never had a brother. Or apparently I had a brother, possibly, for a long time. I just didn't know I did. So... Cool, whatever. I'm down with that. I, I, I think that's pretty neat. So I've told people about it. They've been, like, pretty skeptical. And, you know, I mean, first thing is, like, they want money, don't they? Or, you know, stuff like that. Like, no, I think the dude just wants to find out who his family is. <laughs> so. But, yeah, what a strange, strange world we live in. I don't know. Very, very trippy, but we'll see. I will give you, let you know more when I know more. But uh, I'm curious if that test comes back and it says that we're like 100% chance of being brothers. Because it says I'm 100% chance of being that guy's uncle. According to like, if you have this many of this DNA marker in your system, then that's just the deal. So these are supposed to be different. Oh yeah, there's well, there's two different widths of noodle in here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's just like going from. Wow, you know, I might have a, a new family member that I didn't know about and learn about, you know, a long lost brother that I never knew was long or lost, you know. And, but, you know, these noodles. <laughs> hey. Alright. And let me pour this in. This is the special sauce. gonna need a little bit of motivation. Come on, swizzle on down the road. You guys ever seen that movie, The Wiz? I watched it when I was a kid. Wasn't bad. I'm not saying like jump out and go see The Wiz. Just like yammering made me think of that movie. What was that Ease On Down the Road? Yeah. Anyway, here we are, and the picture on the packaging makes the broth look absolutely fascinating. So let's get a look at that. Uh, not as pretty as in the photo, but... That's good stuff. Wow. Very meaty miso. Let's see if I can get two of these noodles together to compare. I think. Man, this isn't easy to do. So there's like a Thick noodle. I don't know. 
I'm seeing it though. I see that there's two kinds of noodles. It might be kind of easier just to go like this. Give it a try. That's good. I like that. I like the color too. You'll be able to see the color better in here. Very, uh, what's the word? Uh, ten, ten men ish. Got a slice of pork. Got a a egg. Work with me, sucker. No! Oh, no! Ah. That didn't work out well at all, so we're gonna have to go like... That. That's better. Kind of work, <laughs> yeah. That'll do the trickish kind of sorta. Laying down some mung bean sprouts. I'll let you see. Don't worry. Get all funny with me now. I doubt you are, but. You know. Did I even bring the phone over here? Where's my phone? There's my phone. Oh my. Oh my. There we go. Alright. Now I can do black sesame seeds or the standard sesame seeds. And I'm leaning towards the standard. But I want to know what you think. So, oh, you're not here. So it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use more of the Sancio stuff. I, I really dig this. I need more though, right? Oh, I'm gonna go for black pep sesame seed. So I'm in the mood, but I'm pouring some in my, my my palm of my hand so I can do it a little bit more. Like, let's just rotate. Sounds very Paul Simon, this track. I think. Let me know. Oh, you're not here. Don't bother. Yeah. So that's the Kurenai stuff. 
from Sapporo Ichiban, Japan. And I like it. So yeah. And that's it for today. That flew by. Like, thank everybody for watching, and uh, yeah. Later.